hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to create a canvas in expo react native or a signature pad in which a user can draw anything uh, just via using touch or via his finger uh, so yeah let's see how to do this uh, so firstly as usual i will just go to this particular url uh, just to show you what are the different templates of expo react native available so these are all the different templates i will be using this blank typescript template but uh, feel free to use any one of this template the reason i am using this blank typescript template because it has less boilerplate code so i'll just copy this and i will just paste it inside my workspace directory uh, this will create an app for me now it will ask me for an app name uh, i'll just name it as my app click enter now it will create project for me uh, now I will immediately open that project inside uh, VS Code. Uh, so here is my app. So I will open it over here. Uh, now uh, as you can see we don't have the Android and iOS folder. I am not using JavaScript to create the canvas because that would be uh, not that performant. Uh, we will be using native code to create the canvas so that we get 60 frame or 120 frame per second. Uh, so yeah for that we will have to create the Android and iOS folder so to create an android and ios folder uh, you can go to this particular url which i am showing it to you uh, so here you can open this particular url and here you can see i have selected the android device i have selected development build i have disabled the es because i will build it locally i am on mac os but select your own operating system i have already installed this watchman this cas zulu uh, java home android studio so i'm not doing that if you haven't done it already you should do that uh, so i'll just scroll down scroll down scroll down and then we have to copy this particular command so i'll just copy this and here you can see i will just cd into my app and i'll paste this particular command as well and run it and it will create this dev client which is necessary for native modules so again this will do some npm installation so just be patient now for android we have to run this particular command so i'll just copy that as well and uh, here you can see i will paste it over here uh, so this that's it for android uh, now it is asking me for a package name i'll keep everything as default just click enter but you can change the package name if you want to uh, and again uh, this will take little bit of time for the gradle syncing and all that stuff uh, so don't worry too much about it uh, it will <coughs> at the very end once this is done uh, it will fail for me uh, the reason is because i don't have an android emulator installed i will run it on a real android device i would su suggest you also do the same thing uh, here you can see it has failed because uh, my device is real device is not connected via usb uh, that's why it gave me this error but uh, i only needed that android folder as you can see it has created that android folder for me uh, we will run the application at the very end then select ios device again for ios uh, do all this xcode installation i have already done this we have already run this command so we don't need to run it again for ios we just copy this particular command and paste it over here uh, again it will ask us for the package name i'll just keep as default and then we it will create the uh, pods for us along with the ios folder now this will take little bit of time so be patient in the meantime uh, i will show you how to create the native mo uh, expo module as well so what we'll have to do we'll have to open this <coughs> so this is the api for creating expo model i won't go into detail uh, you can read it on your own time i will only uh, tell you what is the command for creating an expo model so to do that we have to copy this particular command but uh, we'll wait for this cocoapod installation to finish because this will take little bit of time in the meantime what i'll do is that uh, here I have already created this project for uh, this canvas signature pad. I created this project before recording this video. So I will be copying a lot of code from this. So what I'll do is I'll just open a uh, few of the files I will require app.tsx. Okay, ignore this. Uh, don't get too confused. Uh, I will explain it to you in detail once we have uh, created everything. Okay, I will have to go to Java modules, my modules. <coughs> okay i would require these three files as well okay i'll just move it over here move it over here as well okay so the coco pod installation is still going on uh, and i'll open it for ios as well again uh, ignore uh, don't worry too much 
uh, I'll open th this as well as this okay so I have uh, already opened all the uh, files from my practice project uh, okay let's uh, once this CocoaPod installation is done I'll come back okay guys so you should see something like this once your CocoaPod installation is finished I am not running it on my device yet so I'll just do control C uh, then we will have to go to this particular command like I shown you uh, inside our uh, for creating our native module uh, so this is the command so I'll just copy this and I'll paste it over here so if you see here is the here is that particular command once it has done we also need to run pod installation for that particular uh, module as well uh, so here you can see it is asking me for my module name. I'll keep everything as default just enter 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 uh, You can change the module name to whatever you feel like once the module has been created We have to run pod installation in that particular module as well. Uh, so here you can see I'll just have to uh, Cut this paste this command as well and run it again. This will take little bit of time. So be patient So first what I will do is that I will go to app.tsx and here you can see this is the app.tsx of my practice project i will just uh, copy this i will explain you the code in a bit let me first copy paste all this code uh, and here i will require this i will remove this text element which i don't want and here i will take width and height as well okay that's it i'll re close this and i will just paste width and height over here as well and i will import use windows dimension <coughs> sorry from react native as well so i'll just quickly save this uh, i don't know why this is not giving me an error uh, hmm, maybe some VA, vs code bug uh, but hopefully it should have given me an error okay it is saying it is crashed uh, this service has crashed okay anyways i'll just copy it uh, from my practice project itself uh, so here I can just do use window dimensions uh, Hopefully uh, later on it might make give it will give me an error uh, or I will just uh, restart my uh, VS code uh, Anyways, uh, so you can just ignore it. So uh, firstly what I'm doing is that I'm importing our module I'm getting the width and height using windows dimension and then we here we are uh, creating our uh, react component of my module view if you have given your uh, uh, native module uh, some different name you will have to change the name over here as well as over here as well but i kept it as default so this module view which will actually display our canvas or signature pad uh, where the user can actually uh, touch and draw anything whatever he feels like okay next uh, we will uh, first we'll look for swift so i will have to go to modules ios uh, my module dot swift and here you can see uh, uh, they are uh, we have to uh, remove this prop so by default if you uh, if you go to this my module dot swift file if you scroll down here is our view in which we have to write code so this is my module view dot swift but it takes a prop which i don't want i'm not really sending a prop from react native side i'll comment this also if i go to src uh, my modules dot types dot yes here you can see for typescript also we will have to comment this because we don't really require that prop and uh, for styling purposes we have to add this view props as well sorry view props okay i think uh, my vs code is not uh, giving me intelligence so i'll just have to write it by myself uh, react native okay and here i'll just import it like this view props uh, hopefully you are getting the point uh, so we have done this uh, particular part so we have just uh, uh, you know commented out this code then we have to write our main code for ios inside this my module view dot swift so i will have to open this my module view dot swift and again i will just copy paste this code from my uh, original uh, uh, you know uh, practice project and then i'll explain it to you so firstly what you will have to do is uh, this is expo view right we have to change this to ui view and i'll have to paste it something like this okay and then i'll copy this i will explain this to you uh, don't worry and here this 
just remove this so here you can see basically we are extending from ui view we don't want that expo view once we extend from ui view we get this init method which we help us to call setup view uh, we call it inside init as well as required in it these are the lines which the user can draw here we are keeping an array out of it and here we are setting up the view so i'm uh, setting it uh, rgb as 1 and alpha as 0 and here you can see this is the draw method which will get called every time the user draws something so i'm setting the stroke color to this you can change it to whatever you feel like line width is 10 and set line cap is but but again you can change it to whatever you feel like and here we are just drawing it again i have copy pasted this code from the documentation as well even i am not really good at this and here we are drawing the stroke path this is how wherever touch begins here we notice it's touch moved and once uh, the user stops it we just append it to our line array. okay so that's it for ios uh, next for android uh, i will go to the android folder src java my module.kt also here you can see it also takes this name prop which i don't want uh, so i'll just comment this out or you can just remove it completely uh, not really needed okay uh, let me quickly check how i have done it over here as well so i have also commented it out so yeah it's up to you uh, so here i have just uh, removed it or commented out the props we don't really need that props then inside my module view this is i have created my own view so i will go to my module view file okay I'll just split it to the right hand side. I'll copy the code first and then I'll explain it to you. So first I have app content. I have this also. Okay. So I'll just copy this. Okay. And I'll paste it over here. So I'll just close this. So if I just show you my, my module view here, I have created, I will create a, another Kotlin file called my view and it will have all the code we are just doing wrap content wrap content don't do match parent it wasn't working for me i don't know why that's why i'm using wrap content anyways which we are setting the style from react native side so we don't really have to worry about it then i'll just copy this my view i'll create one file my view dot kt over here okay and then i'll just copy all the code from my uh, practice project and then i'll show it to you okay so i'll just uh, remove this okay so here you can see uh, this is my package name so change it to your own package name in case if you don't know you can go to my module view this is your package name so just copy it over here rest everything will be same as whatever i have done these are all the imports you can copy it this is the stroke width when the user tries to draw change it to whatever you feel like here is the path uh, draw color i have given it as yellow change it to whatever you feel like uh, here is the transparent background uh, canvas and this is the bitmap this is the rect uh, here we are painting it uh, again change it to whatever you feel like uh, these properties uh, again i have just copy pasted this code from the documentation i am not really good at this this is our touch tolerance current x current y motion touch event x motion touch event y and on size changed again <laughs> i am not really sure what is happening over here copied it from documentation this is the on draw method which again I have copied it and this is the on touch event uh, this is the touch start this is the touch move okay and this is the touch up so hopefully you got the point what all files you need to change first one is app.tsx so this you will have to change here you uh, we are setting the style right and uh, then the next thing which I changed was this my modules.types.ts so this changed then for iOS we first go to my module.swift comment this out and inside my module view.swift i added all this code so i'll just show it to you i have added all this code okay then uh, for android firstly we went to my module.kt i removed this code for prop then i went to my module view.kt i we are just initializing our my view kotlin file then we created this my view.kt uh, again which i have just copy pasted it from the uh, documentation itself so i'll simply scroll through this and maybe you can copy paste all the code so yeah now i will run the application in case if there is any error i will let you know okay guys so here is the output for android i will just close this and with the help of my finger i can draw anything now i am doing wi-fi debugging i have connected via wi-fi that's why the output is little laggy uh, but yeah i am able to draw anything 
so hopefully you got the point for android let's try for ios okay guys so here is the output for ios and as you can see i'm able to draw anything on the screen uh, so yeah that's it uh, thank you for watching bye